This morning on Leonard's Look, people are swarming to Rhode Island to see the unofficial mascot of Providence. And our Mike Leonard tells us why this landmark isn't bugging anyone at all. You are approaching Providence, Rhode Island, a thriving, historic, industrious city that is also a little, a little... Would quirky be a nice term? Quirky would be a perfect term. Thank you. No, thank you, Mr. Stephen Goldman, for going out on a limb, make that out on a roof, to give the people of Providence and the rest of us a lesson in being who you are, whatever that is. It's the exact replica of a swarming termite. And it came into being in 1980, when Steve and his dad, the patriarch of the family exterminating business, decided to take what most people don't want to see, a bug, and to magnify it 920 times. Isn't that ironic? Because you're right, we are exterminators, we, we, we try to kill insects, yet we put up a replica of an insect and it becomes the most popular thing. Come on. Everybody knows about the bug. It's the unofficial welcome sign to Rhode Island. If you say Providence, they don't say, oh, the state house is there with the statue on the top. No, the bug is on the highway. In the middle of the road, yeah. Imagine that. With all there is to see in this resurgent metropolis, what do many books, postcards, and t-shirts show as a symbol of the city? Yep. It's a bug. <laughs> a bug. The big blue bug. The symbol, the icon, the landmark. People from New York were going to the Cape, and, they t and their friends told them that once you see the big blue bug, you take the next exit, which is 195, and it'll take you right to the Cape. But when those New Yorkers wound up 20 miles past Providence, in the wrong direction, they called the offices of New England Pest Control, saying, We're not even Rhode Island. Where's the bug? And we, we started laughing. We said, the bug was taken down. It's being referred. We said, oh, no, I was told to take the next exit after the bug. I'm lost. What do I do? And to think that the bug might not have been. Could have gone with the billboard. At, we were going with the billboard. You know, but you know, sometimes you have to think outside the box. Or under the sink, or behind the furnace, or in other creepier places. And speaking of creepy. I wonder if we creep bugs out. <laughs> I never thought about that. Just trying to think out of the box, which is pretty standard stuff at the acclaimed Rhode Island School of Design, where Professor Robert Brinkerhoff talked to me about the bug as art. And when we're looking at subject matter in art, we're looking for something that's going to be evocative or provocative or that resonates within the viewer, you know, and you have to ask yourself when you're looking at that bug, do I feel it? You know, am, I, am I connecting with this bug? Am I? Are they? Let Mr. Goldman answer that question. When I was growing up and I said my father's business was uh, in the exterminating business and they used to point fingers and tease me, and I asked my boys uh, as they were growing up, uh, when you tell your friends what business uh, your father's in, what, what do they say? Dad, they're jealous. Everybody embraces the bug, it's just, it, it's just incredible. It's not just a big bug, it's Rhode Island. For today, Mike Leonard, NBC News, Providence, Rhode Island. And we'll be back in a moment, but first, this is Today on NBC.